This lesson is to do with trigonometry. Um, we can apply trigonometry to right angle triangles, but to start with, I want you to find the missing length x on this right angle triangle. So you might want to pause the video here and I'll come back with an answer. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at trying the starter. So we're finding the missing length x. You may have noticed that it's a Pythagoras problem. So this one is a Pythagoras problem. Not a trigonometry problem. So we're looking for the hypotenuse length and the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. And when we're looking for a hypotenuse, we have to add the other two sides together squared and then square root. So 8 squared plus 4 squared. It doesn't matter about the order of those because we're adding. So 8 squared is 64 plus 4 squared is 16. which is 80 and then I'm going to do the square root of 80 so square root both sides and then to one decimal place my answer so to one decimal place my answer is 8.9 centimeters because it's a length. So for Pythagoras it's only to do with lengths. I've got two lengths here and I'm looking for the third side. Let's have a look at the next problem. So how is the next problem different? We're still looking for a missing side but what else do you notice? So what you should have noticed is we have, uh, we're given one side, but we're also given one of the angles apart from the right angle, so we're given an angle. And we're looking for a side. So you can almost see as the angle gets involved here. And for this problem, it's not a Pythagoras problem. This is actually a trigonometry problem. So it is important to notice the difference between when you use Pythagoras and when you use trigonometry.